Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Um, just a quick one really, I thought I'd just um, pop some information up that I found whilst I was testing the failsafe. So um, if you've seen the last video I did was about the setting up the KingTech um, failsafe, um, setting it up on your radio, testing it out on the turbine itself. So, so we did a test, we ran the, we set up the failsafe, we did a test and uh, everything worked as, as we expected it would do. So um, that was all fine, but then I thought I would just check what the um, the last um, shutoff code was. So, in most turbines, um, certainly all the previous ones, mainly Jane, Jet Cat, and Ren, or ones that are, are usually managed by the Zykoi uh, ECU, they will give you a, um, a last shutoff command, and normally for a failsafe event, that would be be a failsafe. So I thought I'd look at uh, look at that code and see see what we got um, with um, with this. So if we just have a look at the the last one, so we can see here the the code we got was user off, which is the which is a normal shutdown command. Yeah. So when you bring your throttle back, bring the trims down. Um, this is a code you would expect. This is a normal standard cutoff. So I, I, I thought, well, maybe I'm wrong. So I checked the manual. Now the manual says you should get a failsafe code. Um, so I, I, I thought I'd done something wrong. So I tried. Um, I reset it up again. I set, went through the the failsafe process again. Got the same result. Um, I increased the um, the gap between the. Um, the low throttle, high trim, and sorry, I increase the gap between the. So I increase the gap between the low throttle, low trim, and the foul safe command. So there was quite a big gap between those two. So when the receiver went into foul safe and sent the command to the ECU, um, there would be no doubt that it was a was a foul safe, um, foul safe signal. But now it still did exactly the same thing. We still got this user off code. Um, I did check here. Sorry, let's just check the run summary. Yeah, we get that user off code. So yeah, so I was very, very confused. I, I, as I say, I tried different radios in the end. I tried different receivers. I tried all sorts of different things. I only ever got the user off code. So. Um, I reached out to King Tech Luxembourg, just dropped him an email um, and said, look, I'm getting this user off code for, for the failsafe event. Have I done something wrong? Have I configured it wrong? Um, and they're very quick, very helpful, as they always are, responded back and said, no, that's the code you get for, for a failsafe event. So so that's it, guys. Yeah, it seems as though the King Techs, certainly the G4, I don't know about the G2. I've got a G2. I might, get, um, might double check that. But it looks like the G4 doesn't give you a failsafe code, which I'm surprised about. I mean, uh, I'm not sure it's a problem. You know, if your turbine goes off in mid-flight um, and it's not a flame out and it's a user off code, I guess you know, as long as you didn't bring your trims back, that it's it's a failsafe. But it, I, don't, I don't understand why they wouldn't have that code in there. So I don't know if you guys have got any comments, any thoughts about that. Can you can you let me know? Have I done it wrong? Have you, have you got a G4? turbine that does have foul safe on it if so please let me know i'd re be really interested to find out but there you go guys that's it hopefully you liked the video if you did please subscribe like share all those kind of things you know all the sort of things that they tell you to do on youtube um and um, i'll see you soon